silence your cell phones now. All right then. No, that's my door. Pick another door. What's wrong with you? You know what, you were right. This is your door. What's the matter? You got a lot of bad guys behind that door? Access granted. Access denied. Access denied. Access denied. What's going on YouTube? It's SCA, a place to be just trying to Mr. Andy. Better give you guys another movie experience. And I've been going to the movies a lot this weekend. And uh, we finally caught up to check out the spinoff from the whole Fast and Furious uh, saga. We have the Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw. I had to go see this movie opening night because you know what's funny? These movies have gotten so ridiculous as of late. Like me and Swag went to go see Fate of the Furious died out laughing and I had to go see how ridiculous I knew I go to the movie I knew that the brain had to be I had to be permanently shut off to see this movie and now so we have uh Hobbs and Shaw fighting team to go to go uh take out Ichizaba who's looking for this virus that stuck at his sister and I know already kind of doesn't make any too much sense but it's an action-packed movie so I'm gonna give you guys the good I'm gonna give you guys the bad and I'm gonna give you guys the experience starting off with the good Here's the good. The movie knows what it is right off the bat. They know that this movie is not meant to be taken seriously because it makes absolutely no sense. If you went in this movie looking for plot, let me tell you something. You went into the wrong movie, okay? This movie is loaded with all types of action scenes and all types of craziness that goes on in there and there's no possible way you can make sense of it. But you know what? Idris Elba in this movie does a phenomenal job. He takes his role. He's look. I know he looked at the script and said, "This is dumb." But you know what? I want to act it out anyway. He did a great job in there as well. Hobbs and Shaw. One thing I will say about them is their chemistry is funny. They are hilarious. I actually like their their one liners towards each other more than I did when it came to their kind of like the action stuff. But yeah, I was like, this, they really got some good one line, especially The Rock. The Rock has one that has me dying in the movie theaters. But um, that was good. There are two cameos in this movie that I did not expect seeing. And when they came in, they got the right amount of screen time. And they had the right amount of dialogue. And it was just perfect for two cameos. And they were like more like small roles. But I was like, but they were cameos. And I was like, you know what? I enjoyed that. I really, I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. If you like action, this is your movie also. There is some unbelievable stuff you're going to see in this movie. Like I said, the brain has to be shut off. The Rock should have been dead since Rampage, but he's not. So he's here now, and Hobbs, Luke Hobbs is going in on another level of what the fuck, okay? Shaw is still being stealthy in Shaw, but I mean, hey, we all see Transporter. But I'm saying, but Luke Hobbs is on a different level of shit, okay? And it's a very entertaining thing. It's, it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. But that's my good. I have to get into some of the bad. And here it is. Yes, I did have fun in the movie theater. Yes, action it, it did occur. But I'm telling you, there is a thing as too much action. There's a thing. Sometimes you can get kind of overwhelmed with some of the things that's going on. But I mean, it, it, it keeps you busy. For the most part, the only thing is, my fear is, when they make a second one, or whenever they do Fast 9, you could, they, they look to the previous movie like, how can we top what we did? And I'm like, the stuff that I was seeing, I'm like, you can't top that almost. You really can't top this kind of stuff. And there was a part of the movie I thought it was over, and then we go into Act 4. I'm like, why are we still going in this movie? It is dumb. The dialogue... The, the reason for it being the whole reason for this whole thing it's dumb this is a dumb movie it really is this is meant to be a spin-off this would be another action flick a popcorn summer flick and that's all that's all it's meant to be but it's still dumb <clears throat> even though I was like they had to force to be forced to do dialogue in this movie they said just going balls to the wall with the movie but hey some people like that people who like Transformers this is their kind of movie and like I said, it's going to it's going to be fun, but you really got to turn off your brain in disbelief 
when you're watching this movie. And now with that being said, let's go into the experience. All right, you know, I really, we, we kind of went there. A lot of people came in to go see our show because they wanted to see that, that popcorn flick. It's going to make some money. I don't know if it's going to be number one and be out like people think it's like Lion King, but it's going to make some money this weekend. And apparently there's three post credit scenes. I'm like, what? I only stayed for like one the mid credit scenes. I thought that was it, but there's three post credit scenes. So I had to go back and figure out what those post credit scenes were. But, um... Other than that, it's a good popcorn flick. It's a it's a dumb ass. It's really dumb. But if you're into action, you get a good popcorn flick. I'm gonna give Hobbs and Shaw a hashtag. Give it a chance. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, basically a C minus for me. It, it was, you know, I, it wasn't like one of the. I, I will go back and put this on up there with my Fast Five and Furious Seven. Not happening at all. But uh, when it does come to just, I will pick this movie any day over Transformers. Okay, any of them. I didn't see Bumblebee yet, but I will pick this over any of them. But you know what? Did you guys like Hobbs and Shaw? Do you guys like the mindless popcorn action? Cause, I mean, I don't mind it sometimes. I had fun in the movie. Don't think I am going to trash the movie. I had fun in the movie. I want to know how you guys felt. Post that in the comments down below. Hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this review. And make sure you hit the subscribe button for more movie reviews right here on Nerd Coalition. Especially when it chapter two comes out. So once again this is NC a place to be, Church Member Stay in D, and I'll see you at the movies.